Hi, my name is Joanne Swenson, and I'm the senior minister at Church in the Forest in Pebble Beach. This is the eighth in a series of video messages that we call Light from the Forest. And today, I'd like for you to think about the light that you can be when you are a good listener. Listening has been on my mind a lot these days. It's springtime, and in springtime, the world of nature is just a, a delicious place for listening. For example, in springtime, you can hear these beautiful mating songs of birds. In fact, very good birders often do not identify a bird by seeing it. Birds are really good at hiding in, in trees and bushes, but birders will identify a bird by listening to its song. They know those songs by listening. Listening in the out of doors can unlock the secrets of nature. And listening now indoors, now during our quarantine, can unlock the secrets of our souls. Almost every day, someone will send me an email with very little written in the body of the email, but they want to send me a link to some musical performance. It's as though they are at the limits of their, of their human language, but music can reveal what words can fail to say in this extraordinary time. And it seems that right now we are feeling at the limits of our action. There is so much that we cannot do because of, of social distancing and quarantine. But even though we're at the limits of our action, we're not at the limits of our ability to listen. There's a member of our church who right now is making it her, her personal ministry to listen to a friend who is in deep distress. The COVID-19 crisis has just wreaked havoc in her friend's life and her friend is, is anxious, she's depressed, she's even a little desperate. And so our church member has, has made it her mission to listen for however long it takes to her friend. In fact, last night she was up until after 2 a.m. listening to her friend. She said that there is not very much she can do right now, but she knows that she can listen. And yet, does that make listening a, a kind of defeatist position, that listening is, is a last resort when our actions and words fail? No, not at all says Krista Tibbetts. Krista Tibbetts, as you may know, is regarded as one of the best interviewers in radio today. And she has a new project called Civil Conversations in which she's published some of her best insights on conversation and especially listening. And Krista Tibbetts says that when we listen well, we provide for the speaker a kind of creative space where they can come to, to solutions and answers about the problems they're struggling with. Her insight makes me think of those familiar words from the 126th Psalm. The one who goes out weeping, carrying the seed for sowing, shall return with shouts of joy, dragging the sheaves behind her. Listening to another is a way of hearing their tears and then enabling them to, to scatter seeds for sowing, to scatter creative thinking. And when they scatter those seeds, that will lead to a harvest, that will lead to, to solutions and to answers. Right now in our COVID crisis, we so need creative thinking, we need solutions, we need answers. Thank you.